Okay, I switched to uh, RGB LEDs. So we have a red channel, green channel, blue channel. And I can turn on all three at the same time and get white light emission. I'm using uh, my buddy's invention, uh, the ferro cell, to uh, prove a point I made in the discovery of the first edition of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism, a free book, by the way. I did discover something about a year ago that uh, even he hadn't noticed, and uh, that is the, the phase shift on a magnet and how one side is disproportionate in coloration to the other. Now, I know immediately by looking at this without using my field finder that on the right side I have the North Pole and on the south side on the left side, excuse me, I have the south, here we go, there's a field finder showing that yes, indeed the right side, it show inverse. The green pointing to the red, so the right side we actually have the north pole. The right side I'm actually looking at rarefaction, on the left side I'm looking at compression. You'll also notice that the totality of light is less on the right side than on the left, but I also have a shift. I have a shift towards the uh, blue on the left and I have a shift towards the red on the right. Now I can actually change that shift by changing movement and that's called EM retardation. It follows Maxwellian field equations but for example what birds actually see is not magnetism. We know now for quite a, I don't know, almost 20 years that birds navigate via magnetism but they actually have uh, something in their eyeballs that humans also have which is why my eyes hurt when I stoop over top of that gigantic monster magnet. Something called cryptochromes. So birds don't actually see magnetic fields. What they're seeing is the effect of the magnetic field and the phase shift between the North Pole and the South Pole in difference. So when they actually point their heads towards the North, they see a different color than when they point their heads towards the South. So while it is true, and this is my discovery, not the discovery that they navigate via magnetism, it's my discovery of the fact that they don't actually see magnetism. Of course not. Birds don't see magnetism. We've always wondered how birds navigate. It's like, well, they navigate via magnetism. That's only half the story. They navigate via seeing the phase shift of the sunlight due to magnetism's effect on the sunlight. Now, if you could see something interesting here, too, you'll actually see a rainbow stripe. Let me zoom in and focus. Okay, you actually see a rainbow stripe right here in the center. Yeah, you'll notice the RGB right along the plane of inertia. How that shifts. I can actually also change this by shifting relative motion. You'll actually notice that it'll have blue shift here. And I'll have red shift over here. And it'll switch back and forth as I move. Blue shift, and as I move away, red shift. Now relative to an observer, I have blue shift. Moving towards, away, I have red shift. Towards, blue shift, away, red shift. So I have naturally, as it sits, a phase shift variance at a ratio of 5 to 1, but I can also have a shift due to relative motion causing an EM retardation phase shift to simplex motion. Now we know about uh, phase shift, of course, red shift, blue shift. Now the actual inventor of the ferro cell himself did not discover here, you can see the perfect rainbow right along the plane of inertia. Do you see that? Do you see how this is one color and this is another color over here. Do you notice that one side is brighter than the other side? Just taking a look at this area versus this area. Now I have the RGB LEDs evenly spaced. There's also a difference in higher capacitance light, a blue frequency, where I have faster disappearance along the plane of inertia due to higher capacitance than I do from red. Red has a lot less capacitance, so I shift to green, higher capacitance, then to blue, the utmost capacitance that I can actually get out of this in the visible spectrum. You see that? Now switch back to red. Now, let me show you something else. Red, green, blue, very, very dim. Now I'm going to switch to white light. Now why don't you see something else? See what you see in this. 
and then let's explain it. You notice that there's a void right at the center. It's a plane of centripetal convergence. Here we have a zone of centrifugal divergence. Now, what do you think, just like along the side, now we're looking at one pole, you're seeing the rainbow effect and the halo in the periphery out here, but right here in the center you'll see a bluish-green band. That band is centrifugal divergence, the RGB colors that are actually coming in, this is centripetal convergence. The light is literally falling into the point of the plane of inertia. It's actually accelerating. Do you actually see that... Yeah, people think that light travels in a straight path. Of course it doesn't. This is what people don't understand, too. That which we call gravity is absolutely no different than magnetic attraction, that which we call magnetic... Both of those things are the exact same thing. The only difference is field coherency. Okay? Matter is incoherent. Okay? Magnetic polarity at the atomic scale is pointing a billion trillion different directions. Okay? We have field coherency all pointing in the same direction when it comes to a magnet. In the exact same direction. What we're actually seeing is the curved linear path the spirograph pattern, which is a hypertrochoid, by the way, curving right to the point of center of beetle convergence. We have an extremely strong... The only way you can normally demonstrate something bending light, like back in the observations we made of a star that was actually bending around the sun, because the star was technically behind our sun, people think, oh, well, that's uh, gravity in space. It's a curvature. So, no! No, space has no properties. Nikola Tesla said this. These are the exact words of Nikola Tesla. Space has no properties. Dielectric convergence, what you call gravity, and that which we call magnetic attraction, they're all one and the same thing. They're centripetal convergence, or dielectric acceleration. This curved linear path is light taking off of a tiny little 1 inch watt by 1 inch by 1 inch N50 Gauss neodymium iron boron a ceramic magnet is having a curved linear path due to coherent field convergence. Field coherency. What do you think is bending the damn RGB LED lights? Light's not traveling in a straight path. No, you're seeing a hypertrochoid, i.e. a spirograph-like pattern. What the hell do you think is bending the light that you're looking at right now? Magic? Unicorns? <laughs> what the hell do you think is bending the... Dielectric acceleration. Let's place the magnet on its side. Actually, this time let's place it on top. You can actually see what I actually had underneath there. Okay. Yeah, do you see this bubble that actually forms before I place it on there? Do you see that? You see the shape of that bubble? What's the shape of it? You see the line that forms right there? Let's place it back underneath. You see this rainbow right in the center here? Right along the plane of inertia? Do you see how this side's brighter? This side is dimmer? Do you see how this side is one color? This side is a different color? Do you see that? Do you see how I actually have phase shift due to movement? Blue shift, red shift, blue shift, red shift, blue shift, red shift. Over here, the same thing. Blue shift, red shift, blue shift, not as radical because there's a phase variance between polarity at a ratio of 5 to 1. I hope that wasn't too complex. That's actually me dumbing it down quite a bit. Mother Nature doesn't have a calculator. She doesn't do math. Mother Nature only works off of one thing only. Pressure. Everything in the universe, centripetal convergence, centrifugal divergence, capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity. The universe does not work off of math. There is no math in the universe. The universe does not calculate. Human beings count beans. We calculate, we whip out our calculators. I'm not against math, but there's a huge difference, and the Greeks understood this. A difference between math and arithmos. Well, arithmos, that's the Greek term for arithmetic. It's kind of math. No. Two different subjects. Math 
and arithmetic, arithmos. The proportionality of cosmic mechanics. Mother Nature does not have a calculator. She only works off of force and pressure. You don't need a calculator to know that when you pull the drain and the plug of your bathtub, that the water's going to go down in a vortex and spiral down the drain. It doesn't take math. There's no math there. Everything is pressure differentials. Centripetal convergence, centrifugal divergence. Fields. Science, no part or no branch of modern science has ever defined what a field is. Not a single branch. Nope. So, glad you could see this. This was my discovery from about a year and a half ago. And uh, even the inventor of the feral cell didn't know that. Even when he replied back, he's like, I, I did, not, did not see that. The reason you didn't see it is because you had to use RGB LEDs instead of white light LEDs. You had to have three separate channels bursting at the same time. Each one of these little spots, as I said, you see we got a red channel, a, a green channel, and a blue channel, or all three of them together. RGB LED. Yep. Confirmation. Everything I said about magnetism is absolutely correct. It's undeniable. It's irrefutable. Mother Nature is not a crack or with a calculator. Mother Nature doesn't do math. Everything in the universe works off of pressure. Also, there's not a single straight line in the universe. Not a single one. Everything in the universe is curved linear. A line might be so long as to appear straight for relative to an observer, but there's not a single straight line in the universe. So now ask yourself a question. What the hell is warping the light that is shooting out from these RGB LEDs? What? What? You see these curvilinear vectors? Curvilinear. Do you know what the term curvilinear means? Curvilinear. Curvilinear. What the hell's bending the light? Dielectric acceleration. It's the same reason why there's no light at the center of this pole of this magnet. You see this big black spot right here? That's right. Why is there no light there? Because that's the pressure vacuum where light has vanished into. Poof. Gone. It's not there for a reason. This is the most fundamental principle of cosmic mechanics, is magnetism. That which gives 100% volume and definition to the entire universe is magnetism, and magnetism only. And until humanity understands what the hell magnetism is, it will have no grasp at all of cosmic mechanics, because it's impossible. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. I don't care. Wisdom is its own reward. I don't need validation from anybody. Okay? Wisdom is its own reward. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.